This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, Discovering the Power of Core Melt Tools. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use Slice X to track and blur a logo. This is an old western town with an old western steam engine going through. This footage, by the way, is courtesy of Miles Hale. Thank you, Miles, for shooting it. Except this is a commercial, we'll say. And they don't want to see the name of that store in the commercial. I have to mask the logo. I have to mask the storefront. Now, I could do this so that just the text is selected, but this is a relatively small screen, and I want you to see the effect. So I'm going to mask so the whole front of that building is blurred. To do that, we're going to add a blur shape mask. I'm still inside Slice X, and as before, we're going to create, by clicking on our polygon tool, we'll just create a tracking area here by clicking and click, click, and click, and click. When you get back to the beginning, notice how now it's got a nice blurred tracking area. Click the right pointing track button. If you need to stop the track, you click this area right here. If you realize you've completely destroyed the track, it's just hopeless, then click on the green button and you can delete the track data for just that frame or everything from where you are backward or all the tracking data totally. Let's just delete all the tracking data. Notice that when this button is gray, there's no tracking data associated with the clip. When a button is green, there is tracking data. So we go back again and we start to track our clip. To do, 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 do. Let's see, opposite of Muzak. <laughs> and let's see, just manages to miss the train. I didn't plan it that way. As I was doing rehearsals on this yesterday, I, I realized, whoa, that is really cool. It just misses. I'll uh, pretend that I planned it, but in point of fact, it was a happy circumstance. What we've done is we've now set a tracking area, and notice that it's really picking up the texture of this as opposed to the corners. And now as I drag across, yes, I could pull that over just a bit. Okay, make a little bit so it sort of even on both sides. We can adjust the amount of the strength of the blur from completely invisible to just softer. We can invert it so everything is blurry except the sign, which is kind of <laughs> which is kind of a cool effect. Anyway, uh, we can change how much softness there is on the the shape, and we can even change the position. We'll see another reason for that in just a minute, so that I can be tracking on this, but I'm blurring that. So where the track is is not necessarily where the effect is. The effect can be. Well, let's just try this. Let's just pull the position over. There we go. There's our blur. And we'll just pull this softer. Grab, no, no, no. Grab it and move it down. There we go. And now the tracking data is based on this building. But the effect is applied to that building. This is a very powerful feature because sometimes that which is most easy to track is not what you want to apply the effect to. So we can track on one thing and apply the effect somewhere else inside the same frame. Their website is coremelt.com. The prices for the various applications they have range from free to $299 US. A 15-day fully functional free trial is available on their website for all the different modules. All their software is Mac only. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at the power of Coremelt tools. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 231. By the way, membership in our training library is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and easy to view. Plus, premium members can now access sample media and projects. 
Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it several times a month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.